this helmet, when I got this helmet, it was my brother-in-law's. He just had to sit in the garage, and we thought maybe we could do something with it, you know. Um, then I had a little piece of fabric that I had and had a nice little pattern in it. I just shot that on there just just because this is that type of helmet. Nobody's in particular, so I'm just going to go ahead and just keep working it. Um, ordinarily, I don't do skulls, right, because every time somebody asks me to do a skull, it generally had so much demonic uh, things associated with it that I just couldn't, uh, uh, in my spirit, I just couldn't do it. So, you know, but I heard something very, very uh, instructive, informative, and enlightening. Uh, the artist uh, Jaime Rodriguez, uh, I caught one of his YouTube shows and um, he said this, and it made so much sense that if you're gonna do a portrait of a person, wouldn't it be to your benefit to understand the anatomical correctness of the skull and then start to work at, you know, perfecting it so you can uh, actually stylize the skull. Once you get accustomed and familiar with the actual anatomical structure, you will be able to go way out there. So, you know, I took that to heart and I said, well, I'm going to start learning. So my plan is by the time I get around this helmet, I should have conquered you know, the ability to stylize, first of all, capture the an anatomical correctness of a skull, and then to be able to stylize the skull by the time I get around here. So as I'm looking at this, I was thinking the other day, this uh, pattern in here kind of will lend itself to a scaly pattern. So I'm probably going to wrap a dragon's tail around there, bring the dragon up in here, just to kind of incorporate that flame better. So that's what I'm doing. And, I, and oh, and I just uh, discovered too that with this GoPro Hero, it's the one of the, the entry level ones, right? That you could not have that completely enclosed glass plate on the back because it muffled out the microphone. So I'm right now I'm experimenting to see if this skeleton one that I have that, that came with it uh, is going to allow me to have some uh, vocals on this uh, track. So, you know, just a little quick little glance is something that I've been working with, you know. This shirt I put, this was a foil job, right? And I wanted to just kind of see how well the, the foil would take to the airbrush. So kind of put that on there, kind of embellishing it some more. Since I live in California, we have some awesome dispensaries and my favorite is 1841. Big shout out. Um, they take real good care of you. Um, so yes, yeah, so I did that and I'm gonna honor them with that and kind of bless them. You know, this one I've been kind of pumping out for a while, you know. And as I look at the, the photos from my, when I first started it, um, you know, I see I, I see I can really see how it's evolving. And so for me, I, I realize that that's what a, a great artist, uh, not to say that I'm great, but I'm saying that's what Picasso and all of them cats was going through with those masterful oil works that they've done, you know, that stand the test of time, stand up where people pay millions of dollars for them just to possess them. So, you know, take your time at everything you're doing. That was... Um, Another lesson from uh, Coast Airbrush, you know, they had a couple of guests on there and they're just like, take your time, you know, build into it. Don't don't just start throwing paint so heavy that you can't build into it, you know. So once I started understanding that, you know, uh, it's just great, you know. So anyway, you know, just a few things, you know, we do silk screening too, uh, just a little pan around, you know, see some of the shop area, you know, pay no attention to how messy it is. I'm, I'm getting through some stuff and... Uh, you know, six color, six station, uh, vacuum table right over there, screen cabinet. So yeah, we, you know, we kind of doing it, you know, on a ghetto fabulous kind of way. But I tell you what, as soon as I get a spot, everything has a proper place and I can put everything in its proper spot. So this is uh, Rich from Ragtime, custom airbrush and silk screen designs, saying thank you for watching my video. You need to subscribe because, you know, I would like that. And then it would motivate me to put more stuff up, you know, just because somebody is looking. So anyway, you guys, thank you very much. Have a blessed day and be good to each other. Peace.